On behalf of Megan, Sam, Adriana, and Rocco, I would like to thank you all for being here on this wonderful weekend. As Megan and Sam officially met their family, they have searched their hearts and their paths and have chosen to be lifelong partners. Each of you have been each of you have been invited here to bear witness of the commitment Meg and Sam are about to make. They ask for your continuous love and support as they begin the journey of life and life. Megan and Sam's relationship has developed over many years. A chance meeting brought them together as friends, and the blessing of their children, Adriana and Rocco, has solidified their love for one another. I have had the opportunity to spend a lot of time with them as a couple and it's easy to see how happy they make each other. Their home is filled with so much happiness and laughter, which is magnified by the chaotic joy of their beautiful son and daughter. Sam, I have known Megan for 15 years. And in that time, I have never seen her as undoubtedly happy as when she's with you. And Megan, when you walk into any room, Sam's face absolutely lights up. But no more than it did just a few moments ago when you walked down the aisle and become his wife. I'd like to pause here for just a moment. Megan and Sam both have something they'd like to share with each other. <clears throat> Megan, you filled my life with so much joy and happiness. That night, we saw each other for the first time in years. Our four hour lunch in that dive restaurant. The day Rocco and Adriana came into this world. You getting frustrated and making fun of me for going 10 miles an hour on our way home from the hospital. Your delicate caring for Rocco and, Adriana, Rocco and Adriana, taking them on walks, our late night talks, watching you become a great mother. Your sweet warmth, your constant support, helping me stay strong and confident in my weakest moments. You always know when I feel sad, you make me feel better when things get bad. I love the way you hold me when we hug. You make me feel that I'm so loved. I love your beautiful blonde hair, your beautiful blue eyes. When they are happy, sad, or start to cry. Your laugh is so true. I love that about you. You have such an amazing sense of humor, especially when you laugh hysterically when I try to be funny. You have always been there for me and have never let me down. You have so much strength to carry me through life. I am here today to tell you, family, and friends, that I want us to spend the rest of our lives together. I love you, Megan. There are so many things that I love about you. It's really all of the little things when you say things backwards and don't notice until I silently stare at you. <laughs> I love your openness and honesty. I love that you put our family above all else. I love that you want my problems to be our problems and you're always there to help me, comfort me, and support me. I remember when I had my appendix out and the look on your face before I went into surgery. I could really see how much you what makes me love you the most is something that I can't explain. I feel it in my heart and in my soul. You are the person that I am meant to be with. I love you for exactly who you are, not a perfect, but a perfect person. You give me everything that I need, and you are everything that I want for the rest of my life. leading to marriage and beyond isn't a straight path forward. There are bumps and twists and turns, certainly something the two of you already understand very well. Happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. A good marriage must be created. The little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say I love you. It is at no time taking the other for granted. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. 
It is standing together, facing the world. It is doing things for each other, not in the attitude of duty or sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy. It is not expecting perfection of each other. It is cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, and a sense of humor. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is not marrying the right partner, it's being the right partner. It is discovering that your love for one another at its best will never lose sight or be blotted out by the commonplace experiences of life. And it is remembering that remaining devoted, confident, and hopeful in one another are the secret ingredients which will help you to remain happy. Today is an important milestone for you both, but it's equally important that we recognize the foundation of your marriage was formed long before today, and that it's a love that the two of you share with one another and with Adriana and Rocco. Megan and Sammy, today you choose each other before your family and friends to begin your life together. Have you come here free of reservations to join your lives in the sacred bonds of marriage? If so, say we have. rings are a symbol of eternity and the unbroken circle of love. Love freely given has no beginning and no end. Today you've chosen to exchange rings as a sign of your love for each other and as a seal of the promises you make today. of you will be the shelter for the other. Now you will feel no cold, for you will be the warmth for the other. Now you are two persons, but there is only one mindful four. Treat yourselves and each other with respect, for the mind of those all have brought you together. Give the highest priority to the tenderness, gentleness, and kindness that your connection deserves. When frustration, difficulty, and fear assail your relationship, as they threaten all relationships of Remember to focus on what is right between you, not only the part which seems wrong. In this way, you can ride out the storms. When clouds hide the face of the sun in your lives, remember that even if you lose sight of it for a moment, the sun is still there. And if each of you takes responsibility for the quality of your life together, it will be marked by abundance and delight. May all your days be filled with joy and happiness for you and your family. It is my honor 